Hi guys, today we're going to talk about using TuneUp with Windows Media Player. There are a few key differences between using iTunes versus Windows Media Player with TuneUp, so we'll cover that and that only. Um, the rest of the procedures that I've outlined in other videos do apply. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first things first, you'll want to use the Analyze feature. And you can see I've already done so, so we'll go ahead and do that again. And upon doing so, you'll notice that TuneUp will create a dirty playlist for you to work from. This dirty playlist contains all of these songs that need some kind of work. Pretty obvious that none of these have track names. If you were to right click on these songs, you'll notice that there's no send to option. And this is how we primarily get songs into clean. Windows Media Player treats playlists a bit differently than iTunes. Um, plugins and third party plugins such as TuneUp don't have the necessary permissions to directly edit these playlists. And unfortunately, that means that we can't simply select within the playlist and actually utilize TuneUp that way. But there's an easy fix and an easy workaround for that. So you simply go to your playlist area where all of your playlists are stored and you can select a particular playlist and send it to TuneUp as so. This works really well if you have, let's say, under a thousand tracks or you know maybe even a little bit more or a little bit less. However, you notice that we recommend sending a thousand tracks, tracks or so. Or so. So if you have an extremely dirty collection, this will prevent you from doing so efficiently, in which case you'll want to actually separate. And I would actually recommend that you, um, if you can, sort by artists. You see, I have no artists here, so that's not going to really help me. Uh, but I do have album, which in this particular case would, in fact, do the same thing because I do have album information for most of these. Um, so we'll do that for this particular case and you'll see what I mean here. So say, for instance, I just wanted to create a playlist from this album. I can just select all of those songs. If I right click, I can do add to playlist. Right. And that will create another playlist for me to work from. That's smaller. So I will eventually have a list of playlists that I could just simply say, hey, send to tune up, select on the next one and say, send to tune up again. That's a great way around it. And the process itself can be relatively smooth. 